everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to get started with a 35 minute full body dumbbell workout. All you need is a pair of dumbbells. I'm going to be using five kilo dumbbells for this workout. Uh, we'll start off with a four minute warm up uh, and then we'll go straight into the main part. Okay, so if you want to come and meet me down on the mat, we'll get warmed up, lying on your back, soles of the feet on the floor, knees up. We're going to do a nice inhale and you're going to exhale, peel your spine off the floor into a nice bridge. So we're just mobilizing the spine up and down. Inhale, we're going to lift up pelvic floor. Exhale up, squeezing up, coming back down. Nice inhale, we're going to exhale back up, coming down. Okay, we're bringing one knee up and then the other knee up. Hands, just put them uh, around your waist. We're going to extend one leg out, so sort of core firing up as you breathe out, breathing in. We're going to breathe out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Keep it going. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. Okay, putting those feet onto the floor, rolling onto all fours. We're going to thread the needle. So, taking our left hand, thread it through, shoulder onto the floor, and we're going to extend the right leg back, left arm up, and a little wrist circle at the top. Coming back through, we're going to thread it through, and extend again, reaching up little circle with the wrist. Let's go again, two more of these on this side. So we've not changed arms yet. Little wrist circle. And then one more, thread it through, nice inhale. And exhale up. Wrist circle at the top. Okay, knee and hand on the floor, changing sides, threading through. And then we exhale, reach up. Nice wrist circle at the top, going through. Getting a nice rotation in the top part of the spine. Extending core, engaged and lifted, wrist circle at the top. Two more here. Exhale, as you lift up. And then one more on this side. Breathe it in. And extend up. Okay, we're gonna bird dog. So opposite hand and leg extend away. Nice long spine, knee to elbow squeeze. And then exhale. We're gonna breathe in as we open out. We're gonna exhale and squeeze, knee to elbow. Two more here, breathing in. Exhale, squeeze. And again, extend it out. And knee to elbow. Okay, hand and knee on the floor. We're doing four on the other side. So extend away knee to elbow and squeeze. Extend it out, knee to elbow and squeeze. Two more here, extend it out, knee to elbow, squeeze that core. We've got one more as we extend it away and exhale. Okay, we're coming up to standing. I'm going to show you how to do a little yogi squat. So we're gonna have arms up in the air, then to go into a nice deep squat down, hands on the floor, lift your hips, hips come back down, We've got one arm up, other arm up, we're coming to standing, we've got 30 seconds of this, in your own time, nice deep squat, hands to the floor, lift those hips, trying to keep your hands on the floor if you've got the flexibility to do so. Okay, we can squeeze two more of these in, deep squat down, touch the floor, lift the hips, Hips come back down, one arm up, other arm up, up to standing, let's get one more. Deep squat down, hands to the floor, lift those hips, hips down, one arm up, other arm up, come to standing. Okay, your work is complete. We're gonna go straight into the main workout, holding two dumbbells. So I'm grabbing my dumbbells. First exercise is going to be squat thrusters. So you'll start with the dumbbells on your shoulders, elbows high, supposed to drop down. You go into a deep squat and you'll thrust up into the air. We'll go with the timer. First exercise, squat thrusters in three, two, one. Let's go. Inhale, exhale up. We've got 30 seconds of these squat thrusters. 
driving up through the floor coming tall deep squat down exhale up keep it going 30 seconds of work and a 10 second rest before we move on to the next exercise keep it going three two one okay we've got a 10 second rest coming up next classic reverse lunges so we're going to hold our dumbbells at our side core engaged we're going in three two one nice lunge back and in get that knee the front knee over the toe make sure it's not collapsing in or out inhale down exhale up think of growing tall as you go down rather than sinking down i'm going to be thinking of growing up 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 and to go down okay we've got five more seconds here then a 10 second rest three two one okay 10 second rest up next but on the mat so i'm going to hold on to my dumbbells in a plank position we've got a slow oblique mountain climb so we're taking our knee opposite elbow inhale we're going to exhale squeeze it across using the support of my dumbbells because i've got the hex shaped dumbbells if you've got rounded dumbbells then you'd be better off putting your hands flat on the floor as opposed to rolling around on those roly-poly dumbbells okay keep it going eight seconds here then a 10 second rest three two one okay 10 second rest fourth exercise within the circuit on your back for a close grip press okay lying on your back dumbbells are touching each other drawing it down towards your body you're going to press up so we're working mainly triceps here and anterior deltoids a little bit part of your upper pecs we're going to breathe in as you come down exhale as you press up big push here we go we've got eight seconds left keep driving three we've got a big rest after this whole 30 seconds to chill out three two one Woo! Okay, there's a 30 second rest. Grab your water and we'll repeat that circuit two more times. So as a reminder, you've got your squat thrusters. 30 seconds, 10 second rest. Going into reverse lunges, then a 10 second rest. Oblique slow mountain climb, 10 second rest. And close grip press on your backs. Let's get ready to go. Hold those dumbbells over your shoulders. We inhale down, we're gonna exhale up. Nice inhale, we're gonna exhale up. Keep driving through the floor, coming up tall at the top. Using that drive to get those dumbbells up. We've got five, four, Three, a two, one. Woo, 10 seconds of rest. And we've got those reverse lunges. Okay, get set up on your mat. Core engaged, shoulders engaged. We're stepping back. Inhale, grow tall as you go down. Make sure that front knee is over the toes. Drive it forwards. Common mistake I see is people lunging back like this. And it will pull on your front, well, pulls on both your knees there. Get those knees over toes. Inhale, exhale up. Three, two, one. Okay, got the oblique, slow mountain climb. Dumbbells on the floor or flat, flat, hands flat on the floor. Great, three, two, one, drive up. Inhale, but to begin, exhale, as you draw it across. Make sure your shoulders are stacked over your hands rather than reaching back. You want to be like a strong, uh, I was going to say a tabletop, but like a triangular table. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Okay, on your back for the next exercise, close grip floor press. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Driving it up and down. 
we've got another big rest coming up. Nice 30 second rest. Breathe in, we exhale up. Think of the muscles you're working here. Be intentional with the movement. Triceps, delts, the pec. Woo, we've got three seconds. Okay, dumbbells down. And I'm gonna flip in the window. That's one of the things about working out at home. If you've got the heating on. Because <laughs> it's winter and we do have the heating on. It gets hot very quick. Okay, guys, we've got your squat sisters coming up next in 10 seconds time. So be prepared, be intentional with your movement. Do a nice inhale and an exhale up. We're gonna go, three, a two, a one. Lunges are coming up next. It's so nice now I've opened the, the window. And hot before. But we're still going to get hotter and hotter because we're coming up to one third of this workout almost. Keep lunging with intention. Slow it down if you need to. Okay, got five, four, three, two, one. Right, coming up next, we've got the oblique slow mountain climb. The dumbbells on the floor or hands on the floor. Three, two, one. Set up over those dumbbells, draw that knee to the opposite elbow. Try to do, well, try to keep your core as stable as possible. Three, two, one. Okay. On your back, close grip, press. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're going to go for a nice push up. Inhale, exhale up. If you find that these are easy, go a little quicker, spice it up a little bit. Keep it going at a nice pace for 20 seconds. Uh, and don't let those elbows ride up. That's quite a common thing I see happen. Just elbows shrugging, oh, not elbows, shoulders shrugging up. Don't let them shrug up. Keep your neck nice and long down the back. We've got a few more seconds and a big rest. We're gonna move on to the next circuit. Okay, there are 40 seconds for you, being so generous. Uh, grab a drink, and we'll talk about our next circuit. So again, we've got another four exercise coming up. Coming up, uh, lateral lunge with an overhead press. You only need one dumbbell for this. Alternating dumbbell snatch again. You need the one dumbbell, followed by exercise three, which is an Otis up. You need one dumbbell and then a plank with knee dips where you don't need any dumbbells. So a lateral lunge with overhead press. We're gonna get started, follow along with me. I'm gonna step to the side, dumbbell over the foot. We're gonna press overhead. Again, step to the side, dumbbell over the foot. Nice flat back, press overhead. I'll keep it slow for you on this one. And again, it's nice and slow. If you feel confident, speed it up a little bit. Glide it over the foot. Keep it close to the body. And a nice clean press overhead. Three, two, one. Okay, 10 second rest. We've got alternating dumbbell snatch. Feet slightly wider than the hip width apart. And you want the dumbbell sort of just below the knees. You're going to drive it up and pressing into the floor. Finding that power in the legs. Drive the dumbbell overhead. Keep it going. Good. 
three, two, one. Okay, still with your one dumbbell, we're gonna get down onto the mat. Legs will be straight. Dumbbell is up to the ceiling. You're gonna push up, bring the dumbbell strict over your head. We're gonna control it down. Three, two, one. Okay, dumbbell down to the side. You're on your elbows in a plank. And we're gonna tap our knees down. Tap without pushing back or swinging around. You wanna take it all in the core. Slow and steady, little knee tap. Stay focused, core engaged. Three, two, one, okay. Right, got a 30 second rest. We're gonna go into that round again. Starting off with the lateral, lateral lunge into an overhead press. Then we've got some bell alternating snatch into an otis up into a plank. So let's get ready, core engaged. We're going over the foot, bending from the knee, press up. Inhale, we exhale up. Away from the floor, come up. Okay, 10 second rest. We've got the alternating dumbbell snatch coming up next. Let's get ready to go. Setting up, nice flat back. Three, two, one. We drive it up. One. and Otis up, or several Otis ups. Okay, legs straight, three, two, one, push it up. One. Okay, dumbbell down, we've got plank with knee dips. Coming up next, let's go. Three, two, one. Nice setup onto the elbows, knees, dips down. Slow and controlled. One. Oh, saved by the beep. Okay. All right, half a minute, grab a drink. Got one more round of this second circuit. And then we've got a third circuit. Cool down and then done. Okay, getting ready. Lateral, lateral lunge. With an overhead press, let's go. Bend it down. But exhale, core engaged as you come up.
Okay, so the 10 second rest. And you've got alternating double snap. Five seconds. Little countdown, get set up. Let's get ready to go. Grab it up. Standing up tall rather than all bent. You purpose forward the movement, drive it up. One. Okay, 10 second rest onto the mat. Otis ups. You need to be strong in your shoulders for this, strong in the core, and have great hip flexors. Let's go. Inhale, I like to exhale up. In. Out. Come up as tall as you can on your sit bones before rolling back. Okay, dumbbell down, onto your elbows, planks with knee dips. Okay, let's get ready to go. Three, two, one. Set up and stay in control as you get those knees down. You should be feeling in your core, in your shoulders, and in your quads. But mainly in your core. Get it to fire up. Squeeze it all in. Three, two, one. Okay. Right, big rest now. 40 seconds. Grab your water. We've got our final circuit coming up next, which will be four exercises again. Renegade rows. I'll give you two options for that. Uh, bicep curls, followed by an Arnold press and then a serratus reach or uh, an upper crunch. We'll see when we get to it. Okay, 10 seconds, grab two dumbbells, set up on the mat, I'll give you option one, okay? We're in a box shape, knee tip with apart, and you're gonna pull the dumbbell to your side. Rather than up to the shoulder, think of it coming between your rib cage and your hips. Option two is up on your toes. And you're pulling in. Okay, we're coming down. Tall, kneeling to your bicep curls. Very easy, simple exercise. Palms are going to face forward, shoulders back, elbows back. Squeeze up, gonna control it down. And exhale up, breathe it in as you come down. Keep it going, squeeze at the top. Again, being careful not to draw your elbows up. Keep them back. Squeeze the upper back as well, not squeeze at the top, squeeze. And back down, you've got a few more seconds here. Oh, we're feeling it today. Okay, you've got alternating arm or press, so let's stay tall kneeling, holding your dumbbells in a nice symmetric bicep curl. You're going to bring one arm up, back down. Slow and intentional. Nice press. And up. Find your focus and keep it going. Round them up and down. So my palms are facing me now. I'll single palm facing away. Three, two, one. Okay, dumbbells down. Uh, let's take one dumbbell for, for the serratus reach. So these are the little muscles here to help you protract uh, your shoulders. So push away from the floor, up and up. So think of reaching the dumbbell up rather than crunching it forwards, going up. Three, 
don't forget to lift up off the floor as well as you crunch up, rather than bearing and pressing down. Everything squeezes inward. In. Three, two, one. Okay, you've got your nice 30 second rest now. Bit of an arm burner that one, isn't it? Okay, so just to recap, got two more rounds left. Uh, renegade row into bicep curls, into Arnold press, into a serratus crunch. Hopefully, just reach. Okay, 10 more seconds. Get breathing, get focused. We're going again. Three, three, two, one. Let's go, renegade rows. Three, two, one. Okay, shake off those hands. We have got bicep curls coming up next. Okay, tall kneeling. Let's go. Three, two, one. Find the shakes again. Squeeze it up. Control it down. Elbows back. Shoulders back. When we say back, I don't mean resting the chest out. I just mean gentle squeeze across the upper back to stop you from rounding the shoulders forward. Thinking biceps, biceps, biceps. Okay, a few more seconds here. Three, two, one, dumbbells down. Okay, we take those wrists. We've got Arnold press coming up. So again, tall kneeling, bring those dumbbells up. Then we go with a nice press. that focus keep going okay couple more seconds here three two one okay dumbbells down you need just one dumbbell for this the rate is reaching up to the ceiling these muscles here pulling you up off the floor okay inhale we exhale reach up little pause at the top before you come back down. Three, two, one. Okay, got a nice big rest now. 30 seconds. One more round to go. Have a little snuff. Right, Renegade Rose up next. Dumbbell set up. Remember, option one, you can be on your knees in a tabletop position, drawing that dumbbell up. Remember, don't lean back. Have your hands over your dumbbells. And if you're up on your toes, continue. Three, two, one. Okay, we're coming up to tall kneeling. Circle those wrists. You've got classic bicep curls coming up next. Let's get ready to go. Palms facing forwards, upper back engaged, core engaged. Squeeze those glutes slightly. Nice and controlled. Keep it going. Oh, <laughs> final few seconds here. I'm nearly there. Come on. We've got five seconds left. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, shake off those wrists. We're gonna go to a, a tall kneeling arm or press, alternating those hands. Let's get ready to go. 
Woo. Last little burner here. Focus on breathing, inhale, exhale up. Stay strong, you're nearly there. Three, two, one. Oh, goodness me, it's making me go cross-eyed. Right, onto your back, serratus reach. Three, two, a one. Inhale, exhale. Try not to think of overly pushing the lower back into the floor. This is why we want to keep that neutral spine and the movement is coming just in the upper part of your body. Lift up pelvic floor as well. Leave that pelvic floor to work. In conjunction with the whole core. Get that big squeeze. Three, two, one. Okay, dumbbell down. Right, we have got. Oh, oh, cool down coming up. So dumbbells away. I'll take you through a three-minute cool down, and then you can be on your merry way. Okay, we're going to come up standing, circle those wrists, circle those ankles. Okay, take a nice wide stance. Okay, you're going to do a nice breath in, and you're going to breathe out. Breathe it in, and breathing out. Breathe it in, and breathing out. One more time, breathe it in. And breathing out. Okay, we're gonna go into a nice long lunge. So, if you can, hands on the floor. If not, just reach where you can. And then if you feel up for it, lift your hips. Get a nice stretch down the front leg. Only if you feel you can. And then go back to that long lunge again. Lengthen through your body, grow tall in this position. One more time, if you can, lift up those hips and flex that front foot. Okay, we're coming round to the other side, so coming up, up to standing, change direction. Long lunge. Hold it here, touch the floor if you can, grow through the body. We're going to try and lift the hips now, if you are there and if you're capable of. If not, keep holding the long lunge. Back down, long lunge. Grow through that body, long, long, long. And again, lifting those hips. Okay, long lunge, coming up to standing. We're going down into a child's pose, so kneeling down, other knee, into a nice child's pose. We're gonna do some deep breathing here. Nice breath in. And a breath out. Relax and sink into the floor. Let your forehead relax on the floor. Walk those fingers away. Feel that nice long stretch. Just do a nice breath in. And exhale. Two more deep breaths. Breathing in. And exhale. Breathe it in and breathing out. Okay, going up into a downward facing dog. So here, have your knees bent if you wish, or straighten the legs if you've got the uh, flexibility. I'm not quite there yet. I'm gonna push one heel down and bend the knee and the other heel down. I'm gonna pedal through, pedal through, keep it going. Lengthen through the arms, lengthen through your body, lengthen down the legs. Okay, we're finishing off here. Just a couple more, and then coming down onto your knees. Oh, and all done. Big congratulations to you. Thank you so much for joining in today's workout. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more home workouts.